This is Coogan Cassis for Eiffel TV in association with Macklin's Gym Marbella with the public workout here in London. They had a heyday two. Yep. Heyday hey day two, two. That's it. This Saturday night at the O2 with me, I've got uh, Shane McGuigan. How are you? Yeah. Uh, great, thanks, mate. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, we're getting moved here. Um, no, I'm all good. Yeah, it's nice to see a good crowd out here still supporting him. So, um, lunch hour for these guys, hopefully, trying to, um, yeah, put on a little show for them. A bit of a, an unknown quantity is the Cobra, uh, yeah. Arnold Gerges. Um, I think we're going to be moved there. I know, yeah. It's... Yeah. Do you want to just... oh, yeah, no, yeah, sorry. Yeah. Um, Go in there. This is a bit of snug, isn't it? A bit more snug, yeah. Um, a bit of an unknown quantity, but um, you've obviously studied him, and um, what sort of opponent is he going to be for David this week? Well, he's, he's big, he's about six foot five, uh, he's got a sharp, sharp jab. Um, you know, he's, he's a good mover, so it's something that David's going to have to track him down, have to take, take his ground um, and hit him clean. He's, I'm sure he's going to be quite hard to hit clean. Um, he got quite a good lean, lean back, so got to be patient. And uh, you know, I, I Mark Demoy was a short little fight, so he hasn't he's still taken. He hasn't been out of, out of the ring for a long sort of time, as it were, in front of those people. And now I think he's a, this this is actually a live opponent, so um, he's throwing back, coming here to win. So um, I think it's going to be uh, it's, going to, it's, it's going to be interesting, but he's got a lot left. So. You know, Shannon Briggs is also on the card as well. Um, the cannon. The cannon. He's not. Yeah. He's not here yet. Or you hear him before you see him. Yeah. But um, obviously the view is that you know David and Shannon come through their fights with a you know. Yeah, hopefully. Yeah, exactly. You know, I think um, Sh Shannon's uh, annoyed him. That's for sure. Um, last person to annoy him was Derek Chisora. Um He got he got knocked out. I think. And Shannon Briggs also went 12 rounds with Vitaly Klitschko as well. So I think he, he wants to he wants to put an end to that. Um, I think it's going to be an exciting fight when you know if it happens. Bearing bear in mind they both come through on Saturday night. Um, just your, your take on the whole Wilder Povetkin situation. Obviously that fight has, uh, should we say, been postponed rather than cancelled. Uh, yeah, postponed. Or, yeah. Um, <laughs> shame, isn't it? Povetkin failed the drug test. Yeah. It seemed like uh, Wilder still wanted to go ahead even though he failed the drug test. You can see I, I read a statement yesterday about it. Um, really gutted. You know, I think he believes he can knock him out no matter what drugs he's got in him. That's just uh, Deontay Wilder, and it's. It's a shame because I think it would have been a good good test for Wilder. I still think he would have come through it, but I think um, be about a five five or six round gun sling. You know, could have seen Wilder on his backside for the first time. But these are all all uh, ifs, aren't they? Hopefully, he can get rescheduled and go again. It does seem though that this is becoming a more frequent thing in the sport, uh, especially over the last sort of year or so. It's, it seems yeah, to be happening every couple of weeks. Yeah, um, Lucas Brown. I don't know how much merits in the Lucas Brown case. Um, but it's still, it's still a failed drug test at the end of the day. There's, there's, there's been a lot, so hopefully you know we can clear it all up. And it, it's, it's, it's bad for the sport. Although it's not an anabolic steroid, it's still a, a performance enhancer, and showed that you know he's, he took it after the ban. Um, so it's, it's a bit of a shame, but it's, uh, hopefully it gets cleared up. All right, Shane, listen, we'll catch up with you at the press conference on Wednesday. Yeah, yeah. Um, when, when Dave is not screaming and shouting in our ear and we can concentrate. Basically, right. yeah. yeah. Shane McGuigan, thanks for talking to Eiffel TV. Cheers. Cheers, Shane.